This is the Magnetic Shifter Set by MB Studio and it's an amazing yet inexpensive mod for your Fanatic wheel rims. What's up everybody and welcome to the Sim Channel. Today we're taking a look at what may be the most inexpensive solution to turn your stock Fanatic paddle shift modules into magnetic shifters, brought to us by MB Studio. There are three different versions of this mod available. One for the Formula wheels, one for the Porsche 918 wheel, and one for the Universal Hub. But the star of the show here is certainly the price. At only 20 euros per set plus shipping, these may qualify as a must-have add-on for any Fnatic wheel rim that they support. Full disclosure, Ambi Studio were kind enough to send me the Formula and Universal Hub versions free of charge for this review, but didn't impose any conditions, and as always you're getting my unfiltered opinion. So what's in the box? Well, the shifter sets didn't come in a box, but in an air cushion envelope, which in my opinion is perfectly fine, and more than enough protection for the light and sturdy plastic pieces. The set for the Universal Hub consists of two T-shaped 3D printed plastic plates with two screw holes on the one end and a magnet on the other, as well as the four screws necessary to mount them to the shifter modules. Thus, it's not replacing any part of the original shifter module, and the magnet simply clings to the steel shifter arm on the Universal Hub. As you may have guessed, the installation is extremely simple and can be done in a minute or two. Just place the T-plate on top of the shifter module, align the screw holes with the threaded holes below and put the screws in. Note that you'll need a small, I want to say M3 Allen wrench for this, which is not included in the package. It's the same size you need for the screws that mount the shift pedals onto the main shifter module on Fnatic rims. Since the T-plate is fixed in place, you may also have to adjust the shifter arm a little. It needs to sit high enough to touch the magnet in its resting position, but low enough not to get pushed down by the T-plate beyond the point at which the module registers the click. The set for the formula rims is essentially the same, except the shift pedals are made of aluminum, which isn't magnetic. To make the shifter mode work, it thus includes two additional L pieces which get sandwiched between the shifter pedals and the rest of the module, such that they swing with the pedals. Note that you'll have to replace the original Fnatic screws with slightly longer ones that come with a shifter mod. The L pieces each have another magnet facing up, which will cling to the one in the T-plate above. Because of the L pieces, installation takes just a little longer on the formula room shifters, I'd say between 5 and 10 minutes. In terms of quality, there isn't a whole lot to review. The 3D printed plastic plates are very light but feel pretty sturdy at the same time and certainly won't cause any issues. They also look pretty neat for 3D printed pieces. The magnets are glued in and from the looks of it I wouldn't expect them to come loose anytime soon. So how does it feel? Well, pretty great to be honest. You finally get that positive click when pulling on the paddles and you might never miss a shift again. The pulling force required to detach the magnets from the shifter arm or the other magnet respectively should be enough to make sure you pull the paddle beyond the switch point every time. Particularly on the formula room with the short paddles, it's making the shifts feel very snappy and surprisingly satisfying. The longer shifter arms on the Universal Hub make it all feel ever so slightly more sluggish, but that's not the shifter mod's fault. The difference in shift feel between the short formula paddles and the longer Universal Hub simply carries over to the modded versions. One thing to note is that this mod makes the shifts notably louder, which I think will be welcomed by most drivers. So is there anything to improve about these mods? For what they are, I'm inclined to say very little. I might want to try how it feels with even stronger magnets, in particular on the Universal Hub, but the ones used here are already pretty good as they are and they do their job extremely well. At $20 a set, plus about $7 to $8 for shipping, I'd say MB Studio pretty much nailed it here and I see these essentially as a must-have for anyone with a Fnatic Universal Hub, Formula or Porsche 918 wheel. The simplicity and effectiveness of this mod makes you wonder why Fnatic doesn't just put magnets on the stock shifters on those pretty expensive wheels. After all, the Universal Hub is 350 euros without a rim and the Formula Rim V2 will even set you back 370 euros. At those rates, the stock shifters are a bit underwhelming. The obvious answer to this may be that they'd rather charge you another 180 euros for the advanced podium shifter module. For me, however, having these mods on my rims gives me everything I need in terms of shift feel while adding next to no weight. 
Now, what do you think? Would these mods be enough for you to turn your back on the advanced podium module? Or would you require the additional clutch pedals for your racing needs? Let me know in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I hope you have a wonderful day and see you in the next video.